Um, and as, of course, uh, the push for the vaccine uh, continues, there are still some big questions surrounding them for specifically uh, groups of people who may be expecting babies, breastfeeding, or dealing with fertility questions. Joining us now, columnist and political analyst Anoushe Hosan. She is the author of the forthcoming book, Hysterical, How Sexism in Healthcare Kills Women. Also with us is Jamil Fields Albrook, director of Women's Initiative at the Center for American Progress, where she oversees policy development to advance women's health rights. Uh, welcome to both of you. I'm, I'm so glad to have you here for this incredibly uh, important conversation. And full disclosure, uh, you know, I have a young toddler. I have many friends who are uh, right in the middle of their childbearing years. And this is a question that many of them uh, are asking me. They're asking me to ask people like you on TV to figure out what they should do uh, if they are, especially if they are pregnant and whether this is going to be uh, safe for them and for their baby. So, uh, Anusha, let me start with you. Um, what is is the advice that uh, doctors are giving uh, right now? And if you are pregnant, uh, what what should you be thinking about? What should you be considering if you have the opportunity to take this vaccine? Well, Casey, I think that is an excellent question and definitely the question on the minds of many pregnant women. I think it's frankly outrageous. After everything we have seen in 2020 and the massive gendered gap, a gendered impact of COVID, that we are not making pregnant women uh, a tr an absolute priority for these vaccine trials. We know that uh, an overwhelming majority of frontline workers are women. They're women of childbearing age. And quite frankly, it is a scandal that we're not making them the priority to, to be tested on. How can, we, how can we leave women who are pregnant thinking about uh, being pregnant, uh, could be pregnant and not know it without concrete guidance. This vaccine cannot be safe for everyone until we know it's safe for pregnant women. Well, and uh, Jamil, that is exactly uh, the question. And especially for, I mean, women of color already struggle so much. I mean, I, I spent a lot of time learning about this when I was pregnant with my son. And I mean, the numbers are just embarrassing for the United States of America, for how we treat especially women of color uh, and our maternal uh, death rates already uh, are just, I mean, it, it, they are they are a tragedy uh, that we should all uh, be frankly ashamed of. Um, and it, this is, of course, going to be a question uh, for women of color who also you know, face hurdles of trust when it comes to the vaccine uh, in the first place because of the history uh, of mistreatment in the American medical system. So what do you think needs to be done uh, to build trust uh, with uh, communities of color, assure them that it's going to be safe uh, and, and assure the safety of them uh, and, and their babies? Yes, certainly. I mean, in order to build trust, what we need is more information about how these vaccines will impact pregnant people. You know, as you've mentioned, Black and Indigenous women are three times more likely to die from pregnancy-related complications even before the pandemic. And now we see that the pandemic is only worsening those disparities. We see that pregnant people are more likely to have severe health outcomes and more likely to be at risk of death related to COVID. Um, and so in order to to have a safe, effective vaccine that we know works for everyone. Uh, as Anusha mentioned, we must include pregnant people in these clinical trials. Uh, and if they are not included, we must explain the reason why they are not included and also provide them with the information that they need in order to make informed decisions about whether or not to take the vaccine. Uh, informed consent requires information. And, and right now we are short on information and data to make those decisions. J Jamel, the fact that they are not included, pregnant women are not included, does that also mean that if there are particular uh, uh, training or particular uh, kinds of service that they would need that may be different than those that are being tested, are doctors and those that are handling the vaccine, are they up to par to handle this uh, situation if they're not working with uh, people that are pregnant? You know, it's a great question. And just to be clear, I mean, uh, from the information we do know, there is no reason to think that these vaccines will not be safe for pregnant uh, people. Uh, we know that some vaccines, many vaccines are safe and effective for pregnant people. So, for instance, uh, pe pregnant people are still encouraged to take the flu vaccine. Um, however, uh, not including uh, pregnant people in trials thus far just means that we don't have the data to make a definitive answer. 
Cash. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.